hi guys it's that time of year again and if you don't know what i'm talking about it's time to go back to school hip hip hooray school's starting it's about what mid-august now so either you've started school or you're going to start school but these are some tips to survive back to school and the rest of the school year these are personal tips that I need to follow or else I would fail at life. Tip numero uno, which is number one, get to school early. On the first day of school, it gives you time to find your friends, get your schedule, figure out what classes you're taking, and all that jazz, get back into the group of things. For all the days down the road in the rest of the school year, when you get there early, it just gives you time to hang out with your friends if you don't have classes with them and time to finish the homework you didn't do at home. So yeah, get to school early and your life will just be kind of easier. Maybe, kind of, maybe not. I don't know, works for me. What about you? Awkward. Step number two, use the buddy system. You know the one, the good old buddy system. The one you used back when you were in kindergarten and preschool. In case for some reason you can't remember what the buddy system is because you know, you used it back in first grade. And let me just remind you, the buddy system is when you get a partner and you like hang with your partner all day. You know, you walk with them. They're just with you all day. That way you're not a loner. For me, the buddy system works really well. My campus is so spread out. If you have a class here and you need to get here, it will take you seven million years to walk across campus. And if you're by yourself, that is really, really lonely. First two years of high school, I was so awkward and I didn't talk to a lot of people. So I would walk by myself from here to here and track the seven million hour walk all by myself and it was so awkward. Don't do that. Make a friend, walk with said friend, hang out, be, be happy. Another reason the buddy system is effective um, you won't get lost. I'm in exhibit A of getting lost all the time. It's so bad. It's my third year at that school and I still don't know where classes are. So now, because even though it's the second week of school, I still don't know where my second period class is. But my friend in my first period, I walk with him from first period to second period. He knows where the class is and I don't. I let him lead the way so I don't look like I don't know where I'm going. Because in all honesty, I don't. So use the buddy system and you won't be lonely or lost. Tip number three. First impressions are kind of everything. So make sure you make a good first impression on teachers, other students, the people who work in the cafeteria, the principal, I don't know. Basically, your only job is to make sure everybody likes you and then you're good for the rest of the year. Example of making a good first impression, which this is the one that just rings in my head. Don't be this person, please. You know the kid who is always talking and they don't stop talking and they're just like blah, 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 blah. Let's say you're trying to talk to their friend and their friend's like, oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then after a while, their friend is completely uninterested and they're still like blah, 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 blah. And you're the person sitting next to them and they just won't shut up and you're like, shut up. But you don't want to say shut up because you're trying to make a good first impression and you don't want to be that kid who's rude and tells people to shut up so you just keep your mouth quiet and deal with it. Just don't talk and that won't have to happen to somebody else. Don't be the annoying kid because you're annoying. Nobody likes you. I'm sorry, that was mean. People do care. They just don't care right now. Maybe later, when you're not doing anything important or when the kid next to you doesn't look completely annoyed with you because you won't shut up, then people will care about your story. But don't do it when people are trying to pay attention to something because it's annoying and we really hate you. Well, we don't hate, hate is a strong word. We just really dislike you a lot. That's nicer, right? Step four. Try not to embarrass yourself. I would tell you stories about all the times I've embarrassed myself. Everywhere I've ever been, I've probably embarrassed myself. But if I wanted to tell you that, I swear it would take me about an hour to tell you all the embarrassing things I've done so far this school year. And I've only been in school for a week. So, yeah. I don't even know how to give you tips on not to embarrass yourself because I am completely incapable of not embarrassing myself. 
So if you have any tips on how not to embarrass yourself, please leave them in the comments or something so I can learn. Because I need help. It's a problem. And I wish I could help you. But I can't. So sorry. Other than that, just do what you've been doing all of your life in school. I mean, you're probably an awesome person and have tons of friends and you don't even need this video because you know exactly what to do when you get back to school. Anyways, you're awesome. You, if you have any tips of back to schoolness, be cool and go back to school. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. This is why I have no friends. But yeah, leave your tips in the comments below. I guess that's all for this video. Good luck with the rest of your school year, or if you haven't started yet, the school year to come. If you hate it as much as I hate it, I'm sorry. And maybe we can get through this year together. If we stick together and fight as a united front against the school year, we can make it out alive, guys. I believe in us. I believe in us. I just said that, but repetition is important. Well, that's it, and I will see you, you, and you. Yes, you in the computer screen or whatever you're maybe not watching this on. I will see you later. Bye!